students welcome to eternal easy education in this session you are going to learn chapter 3 computer organization content of this video is characteristics of microprocessor so a computer's performance depends on a characteristics so it depends on three character one is clock speed another one is instruction set another one is word size so what is clock speed? Every microprocessor has an internal clock that regulates the speed at which it executes instruction. So the clock is the necessary thing to instruct the microprocessor or it will regulate its execution. The speed at which the microprocessor executes instruction is called clock speed. So it is measured in megahertz or gigahertz. So see here, yeah, when uh, in your system you can have this details. So my system, my computer or uh, this PC, right click properties, you can gather these details. So what is the detail given here is processor name is Intel Core i and the CPU is 1.10 gigahertz to 1.50 gigahertz. So this is the clock speed. So if this speed is more then the processor will have better performance and see here 64 bit operating system and this is also important so they will ask whether your OS is 32 bit or 62 bit so based on this if it is 62 bit the performance will be good next one is the instruction set a command which is given to your computer to perform an operation on data is called instruction. So what, are, what is the thing we are giving to the computer to execute is said to be the command that is said to be the instruction. Basic set of machine level instruction that a microprocessor is designed to execute is called as instruction set. So as we are saying that we are going to give command that is instruction to the microprocessor. So what are the types of commands we can give to your microprocessor? Data transfer. Transferring of data from one location to another location. Arithmetic operation that means addition subtraction related with the arithmetic. All the operations can be done by the microprocessor. Logical operation. It, it, is, it is like decision making whether it is true or false there will be a condition based on that it decide whether it is true or false like that logical thinking can be given control flow controlling the input device output device even the um, ALU and the memory unit is controlled by the control unit so it control flow is also possible then input output devices that means I can get an input from a device using the microprocessor the microprocessor can give the output uh, that the, that is means the result to the output device so these types of instructions can can a microprocessor able to execute next one is word size the number of bits that can be processed by a processor in a single instruction is called its word size so number of bits you have the idea bits I'll explain what is bits so number of bits uh, a processor can execute in a single instruction is called word size next the word size determines the amount of RAM that can be accessed by a microprocessor the meaning is as we know when the power is on the RAM memory is in work so we are going to take the data from the main memory RAM so the processor in the processor the word size only decides how much amount of RAM the microprocessor is going to use see here there is a tabular column like our mm, measurement uh, like the measurement of a length we can say it is 10 millimeter equal to 1 centimeter then uh, 100 meter equal to 1 what's the answer 100, 100 meter equal to check with it so likewise there is a measurement table in computer science computer science measurement table is different here bit 
a number 0 or 1 is said to be a bit. What is 0 or 1? We know computer can understand only the missionary language. So, the machine language is combination of only 0 and 1. So, if the number is only one digit, it is a bit. For example, if it is 1011, that means four digit. It is not the exact number of 1011. I am given, I am indicating for four digit. So, if it is a four digit number, then it is four bit. It is said to be nipple. If it is a eight bit, that means eight digit number, then it is eight bit. Likewise, if it is 1024 bytes, then it is said to be 8 bit is equal to 1 byte. If it is 1024 byte, then it is said to be kilobyte. So, the content in the CPU, that means in the memory unit, is calculated only based on this table. Uh, you may know that when you are buying a CD or a pen drive, you can see the capacity of the CD, 1 GB, or the pen drive is 126 uh, GB, 32 GB like that. So, they calculate based on this bit. How many bits a particular storage device is going to store. So, likewise, the processor also decided uh, having, uh, that means, uh, character decides the processor's performance, that is word size. So, before that we have seen that it is a 64 bit so here the OS is 64 bit means it can execute uh, in um, word size of 64 bit in a single instruction. That is the word size. So I have a recap. So what are the characteristics uh, decides the performance of a microprocessor? Clock speed, instruction set, word size. Clock speed means the speed how much the microprocessor can execute that is clock speed instruction set means what are the types of instruction a microprocessor can execute word size means at a single instruction how much bit a microprocessor can execute so that is word size that's all for this it is a important five mark question learn well thank you have a good day